Jayaprakash Narayan, you know what the concern is? This is the same Supreme Court which has sat on the more critical matter, some believe, of electoral bonds. Opaque bonds that have resulted in one party getting a huge advantage. The matter is before the court. The court doesn't decide on that, but is happy to say that change the way election commissioners are appointed. Do you really believe that the appointment system will make election commissioners more independent? Rajdeep, our institutions are obviously flawed. You outlined some in the Supreme Court, many other institutions. Nevertheless, our democracy is still robust. We must recognize that. The flaws must be corrected. I have been most vociferous in the past 27, 28 years in outlining the defects in our democracy and fighting for reform. It doesn't mean our democracy is illegitimate or completely lacks credibility. I want to make that point first. Second, the word you use is important, perceptions. I think our elections have been conducted remarkably well for a desperately poor country, largely illiterate, with no serious democratic experience in conducting elections in the past uh, before independence. I think our election commissions, right from Sikumar said in 1950, have done a fantastic job mm -hmm. because the commission is not the chief election commissioner or the two other commissioners. It's the whole body of public servants who may be flawed in the normal governance, but do a remarkable job as a matter of culture and practice over the past 50, 60 years in conducting elections. I take your there point, but is that, uh, with, with due regard, sir, where is the level playing field? The level playing field doesn't exist if you have one party getting 80 or 85 percent of electoral bonds. Should the, if the Supreme Court is so concerned we, 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 about ensuring a level issues. playing field, why don't they are tackle we, that? No, I will happily address that. These are different issues. First, because there are now concerns about the conduct of elections independence of EC, as a responsible citizen fighting for, fighting for democracy and electoral reform, I think it's my duty to state that elections on the whole are robust. Fair enough. It doesn't mean there's no money power. It doesn't mean there's no criminalization. It doesn't mean there's no centralization of parties. It doesn't mean there are 100 plus no political process. They're outside the domain of conduct of elections and election commission. Neither election commission nor Supreme Court is God. They're not the answers to all the flaws of democracy. I want to state that first. Fair enough. Now, now because you raised a specific question about the about the funding, let me tell you the, the details of what happened, mm -hmm. because I am in many ways the architect of the funding law in 2003 after the Tehelka scam. I met every single major leader in government and opposition and persevered. Now, let's take a small little step. We can't address the illegitimate money and vote buying in politics by this, but at least legitimate money required for legitimate politics, let's create a window. All parties came together. Congress formed a committee with Dr. Manmohan Singh to look at party finances. NDA, BJP accepted Manmohan Singh Committee's recommendations in total. A unanimous law was enacted. Mr. L.K. Advani gave a directive to his party. I was told authoritatively by, by the late uh, Arun Jaitley, repeatedly he was the law minister at the time the law was enacted. He gave a directive that now that there is full tax assessment available, let, let us not collect tax and cash for party functioning. Within three months, the receipts fell by 90% despite their being in power. There's a bigger problem. It's outside the election funding. Okay, I... People have no faith mm -hmm. that if they are seen to be funding a political party openly, they will not be harassed or humiliated or hurt economically. So they you're saying, you're saying treat that no. as a separate problem. The money power issue will have to be tackled separately. It's Absolutely. A... And, and it's a, it requires dramatic change. Okay. Electoral bonds is a minor issue. Oh, I, I take your point. Bonds. I no, take your point. I was only... Let me complete because there has to be clarity on this. Yes. Electoral bonds money... Significant though it appears is a minuscule in the election point? expenditure. Okay. 95 percent is about vote buying and illegitimate purposes. In the recent by-election in Telangana for one assembly constituency, you know 400 crores were spent? More than the total uh, expenditure incurred in the British parliamentary election by the two major parties and all the 1300 candidates of all the 650 constituencies. 400 crores you are saying was spent on one by-election in Telangana. Okay, I'm I, stating publicly. 